are talking about focus more on your passion, worry less about taxes. So what does that mean? With that, we have a video, a special uh, presentation from our guests. So let's take a look at our video. We have the CEO of Taxumo. Let's all welcome EJ Arboleda. Good morning, EJ. Good morning, Thank Randy. you for joining us. Of course. Yes. Thank you for having us. Thank you. So for all of the viewers, they want to know after watching that video, mm -hmm. what is Taxumo? So Taxumo is a tax submission platform okay. uh, designed for freelancers, professionals, and small business owners. Mm, okay. And um, the idea is we want to simplify tax compliance. So okay. as a user, you just enter your income and expense, mm -hmm. and in one click, your forms are filled out, mm, and you can submit okay. and pay directly on Taxumo also. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. So very convenient, especially for our viewers who are business owners. Yes. Now, this idea of self-inputted uh, tax mm -hmm. uh, forms and things like that, where did this come from? What was the inspiration in starting this business? Ah, all right. So so uh, my wife, Ginger, mm -hmm. so she is Hello, a serial... Hello, Miss Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> so she's a serial entrepreneur. Okay. And um, What is a serial entrepreneur? So it's like a serial killer, but instead oh, of uh, <laughs> killing, <Okay. laughs> she has lots of uh, small businesses that okay. she started. As long as she's not killing those small businesses. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> She has a lot of small businesses, so mm -hmm. um, taxation has been a nightmare for her. Yes, I can imagine. You know? So every like a week, every month, she's always angry at me. No. I finally asked her, what's the problem? <laughs> what, what are you, why are you so stressed? And she told me it was about her taxes. Ah, so okay. I took a look and we automated it on her PC. So we okay. made it faster on her PC. Mm -hmm. And what we saw was that it really did help her. She was yes. able to, you know, uh, focus on why she started the business, mm -hmm. on her passion behind the business, and forget about the nitty-gritty part of her business, you know. Mm -hmm. so, okay. um, so we thought, why don't we scale it up? Because a lot of people have the same problem. Let's scale yes. it up and offer this service also to other people. And that's where Taksumo came from. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. So when did this all start from the, the original idea? How long ago was that? Right, so this idea has been brewing since 2015. Oh, very recently, okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Um, and uh, 2016, we entered this competition called um, Echelon, and we were part of the top 100 um, ASEAN startups, oh, Southeast okay. Asian startups. Oh, uh, oh, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. That was 2016. <laughs> After that, we entered the Idea Space competition, and mm -hmm. we were uh, fortunate enough to be chosen, mm -hmm. and we were part of their top 10. So okay. that's where it really, uh, it, re it really grew because mm -hmm. um, during that program, we did a lot of validation. So we okay. were validating ever since, I would say, around June, all the way up to June of the following, of 2017. Okay. Um, so it was a free service given yes. free to people and they just really have to pay on the platform itself. Mm -hmm. um, and on July, we launched our subscription platform. July of last year. July of last year, okay. we launched the subscription, mm -hmm. and you know we're now asking people to subscribe to Taxumo, yes. so that they can use the service. And and now we have um, 1,700 users registered Whoa. on the system. Okay, we've collected around more than a million pesos in terms of tax juice. So it's wow. pretty good. Yeah. So from the initial plan, the initial mm -hmm. uh, when you started with your wife, how long did it take you to really? Uh, master everything to do the developing and mm. the planning. How long did that take? Right. So um, the development, I would say, was around also six months, mm -hmm. more or less. But having said that, we did go through a lots of different levels of validation. Yes. So like the first, very first version of Taxumo was just a form. Okay. And a Google form, basically. <laughs> yes. Um, and you know, people would enter there. We would ask people to try. People would enter there, and we would pretend it's automated. Because what happens is, people, of course, don't see what's happening in the back end. Yes. But we're running around in the back end. <laughs> we were the ones filling out the form. We oh, were the ones okay. going to the bank. So it was really validating the idea whether yes. it's a viable business yes. that we can start. Okay. You know, and then from there it progressed to higher levels of validation mm -hmm. to where it is now, which is a full-fledged uh, web application. Mm okay. Mm -hmm. So before you started Taxumo, what was your background? 
background. Did you were mm-hmm. you an expert in uh, taxes and things like that? Uh, well, I am a finance and taxation nerd. Okay. It's really just you know something I do on the side. My mm. background is really IT mm-hmm. uh, development and uh, product ideation, uh, project management, service management. So that's really my background. Okay. Um, Ginger, as I said, is a serial entrepreneur, mm-hmm. and she handled products similar to Taxumo, yes. but for corporate clients in the past. No, because she used to work with banks before. Okay. Um, uh, so there are five founders in the team. So I okay. spoke about the two. Um, so one, uh, we have two who are uh, a CPA and a tax lawyer. So they are ah, domain okay. experts. Yes. And we have one who is who was the former regional communications director of Freelancer.com. Mm-hmm. So he's very he has intimate knowledge and good relationships with the market we're trying to hit. Ah, okay. Mm-hmm. So you do you have the, the the tax experts and the consultants, right. and then you also have the developers helping right. in each area. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna discuss more as we continue our interview on Daily Insight about how Taxumo works. Mm-hmm. So stay tuned. So we were talking before mm-hmm. about Taxumo. How does it work? How do you, how do you get started? Right. So mm-hmm. um, as a user, uh, mm-hmm. there's a free trial. So you okay. can try it out. Mm-hmm. Um, and how and long is that for? It's a month, 30 okay. days. So you mm-hmm. can file a tax form actually during that time. Okay. Um, but as a user, as you're using it, you, all you have to do is enter your income and expense. Mm-hmm. You know, that's it. Um, and then come the tax deadline, just one click, the forms are automatically filled out. Mm-hmm. And then you can also, um, you know, we take care of the submission with the BAR and you can yes. also pay through our system. So you can pay using um, uh, PayPal or credit cards oh, okay. and you can pay using, um, of course, bank OTC, non-bank OTC like 7-Eleven. Yes, yes. And, um, and of course, uh, online banking. Okay, mm-hmm. now that input, uh, the system, what if people are from different industries? Let's mm. say there is a business owner and let's say there is a professional like a doctor. Right. Would they still be filling out the same types of things in the system? Right. Mm-mm. Yeah. So um, Taksumo is set up in a way that they can actually customize mm-hmm. um, uh, the categories okay. uh, that they have in Taksumo. Mm-hmm. So um, if they set up, for example, there are some businesses where in, let's say, transportation is a direct costs and okay. in some businesses where it's indirect yes. so you can set up your categories and edit it in such a way that it will reflect that mm-hmm. um, however we have set up our uh, we have set up the default categories in such yes. a way that it applies to i would say 90 percent of businesses oh mm-hmm. okay so that all people from all types of industries can still use this yes service. yes okay mm-hmm. very good so for example for me let's say i am uh, a business owner, right. I, I log in, I try my free mm-hmm. trial, and if I decide to continue with it, you say there's a subscri- uh, subscription. Correct? Yes. Mm-hmm. Now, what are the different types of uh, subscription plans available? Mm-hmm. Right. So, um, there are two types. There's the basic annual and the okay. premium annual. Mm-hmm. So, for the basic annual, it's 4495. It allows you to file your sales taxes, your monthly sales taxes, mm-hmm. and your quarterly income tax. Mm-hmm. Um, the effective cost of that per month is around 375 so it's very affordable. Okay. Um, and for the premium plan, um, the difference is you get all of that, plus you can also file your annual income tax. Mm-hmm. So, both okay. plans actually come with the functionalities that we offer. For example, the real-time tax calculation, wherein every time you enter an income or an expense, taxes are computed and you see how much you have to save, how much you have to set aside for taxes. So you're never surprised. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. So let's say, for example, um, for me, I'm, if, I, if I'm a business owner, I'm using it for the first yeah. time, but I still don't know all of this... Uh, tax jargon. Sure. You know, I have so many questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if I have questions? How can those be answered? Oh, so we have a chat functionality on the site itself. Oh, okay. Um, and we also have Facebook, mm-hmm. and they can reach us uh, through those channels. Mm-hmm. We're very okay. responsive. We usually respond within 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. And we make sure that all of the concerns are addressed in a day. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. So is there a specific window in a certain, is, does it only business hours that have the chat box? Or mm-hmm. can I message you at uh, 12 midnight? And <laughs> you could. Yes. Um, so a lot of the inquiries are actually answered by myself. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> because, you know, I, re- I really want to make sure I'm there. I understand what the people are going through, what yes. the users are going through. So that's good for me. Mm. Um, and um, I don't really sleep. So, okay. I have I a four-year-old daughter. We don't oh, have a okay. nanny at home, so so I'm still awake at that time. So I would answer. Actually, oh, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
-hmm. at least there's reassurance to those who are using it, especially sure, for the yes. first time, that if they have questions, those can be answered. Okay. Yes. Now, since Taksumo started very recently, mm -hmm. right? Uh, you went uh, really full force just last year. Yes. Okay. So, what do you do about marketing to let people know about that you they have this service available? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, a lot of our marketing is online, of course. There's yes. a lot of Facebook ads being um, developed, mm -hmm. and a lot of um, Google ads also. Uh, but aside from that, we have partnerships with um, a lot of groups okay. that you know that have a lot of the target market that we're trying to reach. Mm -hmm. We do sessions such as Ask Me Anything sessions. Yes. So if they have any concerns about taxes, mm -hmm. they can go there. We also have workshops on uh, registration. For example, mm -hmm. if you're interested in legitimizing your business, you can yes. attend one of our free workshops. Oh, okay. And we also have paid workshops that are in the, done in partnership with Manila Workshops, mm -hmm. which is full disclosure. Um, it's one of the small businesses of my wife. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> so, so at yeah. least they know. Yeah, but, you know. So, um, so there's, for example, there's a new workshop that uh, we've created, and it's about the train law. Mm -hmm. and how it impacts your business, what you should know about it. Now, these workshops that you offer, is this only for your paid subscribers or is it open to the public? It's open to the public, ah, so okay. anyone can join. We actually publicize it. It's on Facebook. Uh, we send it through email to yes. our list, of course. So, yeah, anyone can join. Yeah, and I think mm -hmm. that's really an effective marketing tool, really offering those those workshops, not necessarily as a promotion of your business, right. but to add additional knowledge for business owners alike. That's yeah. true, because education really is a big part also of mm -hmm. what we're trying to do. We want to get people to not be afraid yes. of doing their duty and paying taxes. Yeah, basically. yeah. we all have to pay taxes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Two things that are going to happen in life, uh, mm -hmm. taxes and death. Or death, yes, yeah. death, or death from taxes. <laughs> 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 so enough. we'll continue our interview on Daily Insight. We're going to learn more about Taxumo. So stay tuned. What are some of uh, the challenges that you face with Taxumo? Right. So um, I think one of the biggest challenge that we face is um, on the regulation side. Oh, okay. For example, the BAR, they don't mm -hmm. really know how to treat us. They don't really yes. know what kind of entity we are. We're not really a vendor. Yeah. That, you know, we're, we're not selling anything to them. <laughs> Does it count as service if it's a uh, user inputted? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so they don't know how to do that. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of, you know, we do have some requests that um, they're not able to give outright. Mm -hmm. uh, things that will make it easier for us, easier yes. for our users. Um, because there's no regulation around it. So mm -hmm. they don't want to move, you know. So, yeah. so there is that. And I think that's true naman of any of any um, startup or business that's trying to push the envelope and doing re something really new. So mm -hmm. this is expected. Okay. Fortunately, we are getting a lot of support mm -hmm. from them. So yes. even though we don't get the exact thing that we want, they help us look for workarounds that still allow us to deliver the service. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. good that you're, they're still working with you. Yes, they're not... Yes. Uh, uh, Checking you off completely, they're forgetting about you. Okay. Exactly. So that's that's one of the things that, that you face as a challenge. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, at the we're start at the beginning of a new year, 2018. Yes. What are some of the future plans that you have for Taxumo for this year, for the following years to come? Right. So um, we've recently just launched our new user interface. So mm -hmm. it's okay. even better, more responsive. It works very well on mobile, and um, it's more intuitive. So it's mm -hmm. easier to use. Um, uh, so on top of that, we're also going to introduce other um, functionalities that will make uh, Taxumo more convenient, mm -hmm. easier okay. to use. You might not even have to log on to the website at all, wink wink. So oh, really? I won't really talk about that yet, <laughs> but you know, something to watch out for. Okay. Um, and also we're also looking at um, adding additional forms. So mm -hmm. right now we have a very specific market, which yes. are the freelancers, professionals, SMEs who are earning less than 1.9 to 3 million. No? Mm -hmm. um, so we're going to expand to VAT soon. Okay. And we are uh, also offering other forms such as withholding tax forms, etc. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to uh, cater to more people. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Right now, in what areas are you catering? Where most mm -hmm. of your sub sub subscribers, where are they here in the Philippines? Um, we are. We have very strong presence, um, as expected, in Metro Manila. Yes. Uh, but we're all around the Philippines because oh, we're really? nationwide. So okay. we have users in Cebu, mm -hmm. in Iloilo. We yes. have users in Pampanga, Pangasinan, Bataan. Yes. And uh, I believe we had our first one from Davao. Oh, just wow. this month, yeah. So, wow, hello so we're to you. Expanding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, with the, these plans, with all that you have in for Taxumo, then hopefully, eventually, in the future, that you'll reach to all parts of the Philippines. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, for our viewers, is there any uh, last words that you want to tell them from our discussion that we had today? Sure. Thank you. Um. So, yeah, we do have a pilot 
program that we're trying. We're seeing if it, if this is something we want to offer, a business registration program. Oh, so if okay. you're on the fence on whether you want to legitimize your business, yes. you know you, you can get more details by um, getting in touch with us mm -hmm. at taxumo.com. So there's a little chat button there. Just talk to us there mm -hmm. um, and we'll send you the details. Um, and aside from that, um, I think one thing that I want to say is when you're pursuing your passion, um, eventually you're going to get into the nitty gritty. You're going to be so busy on the business side of your business yes. that you forget about the why, you know, why yeah. you started everything in the first place. Mm -hmm. And I would like to tell those people that, you know, don't spend your time there. Uh, use a service like Taksumo, make it easy on you so that you can start focusing on your passion and the reason why you started your business in the first place. Yes, okay, mm -hmm. very good, very important words. So you can go to taksumo.com, you're also on Facebook. Yes. What other social media pages do you have? Uh, we're everywhere, we're on Instagram, <laughs> okay. LinkedIn, if you want to do LinkedIn, we're yes. also there. So, um, so yeah, so you can reach us on any of those channels. Okay, so connect to all of them for all of your questions and learn more about how you have this service available to help you uh, have more time pursuing your yes. passion and less worry about taxes. Well, we thank you so much, EJ. We learned so much about from today's interview. Oh, before we go, we'd like, also like to thank our sponsor to the Arena Weekend Market. Join us every Saturday and Sunday for fitness and for fun. And join us for our newest attraction, The Garden. Visit our Animal House and the Embrace Cafe. So these are mornings filled with meaningful business talk. I'm Randy Bernardino, and this is Daily Insight. <music>